Welcome to Watch of the Week here on K-Spec. This is a series of brief reviews and previews of recently introduced timepieces. It's not a commercial, you will hear my unfiltered opinion, my unfiltered reaction. And our guest in this week is... In one of my earlier videos, I've said about Glashütte's CQ something like, the company will not be remembered because of this watch. And this might be slightly harsh. And to my surprise, Glashütte Original, which is rather famous for its senator line for tourbillons and decorations, to my surprise, now Glashütte ignored my verdict <laughs> completely. And now they are even expanding the CQ line with two new models. And here you see the old version. Good looking, but back then for me it didn't pop. But the new press release now caught my attention. We will speak about diamonds, yes, but first let's go over the basics of the most affordable of these new watches. Automatic diver with the date confirms with the DIN8306 and the ISO6425 for dive watches and so it's designed for the actual use. Case diameter is 39.5 and the height is 12 millimeters. Inside ticks the in-house caliber 3911 frequencies 28800 with a 40 hour power reserve. And the dial shows a galvanic blue with sun ray finish, applied numerals and indices with superluminova, sapphire crystal, screw down crown, and unidirectional bezel with ceramic inlay. And the watch is waterproof up to 200 meters. Optional is a steel bracelet, a rubber strap with pin buckle or fold clasp. And what caught my attention was first the relatively modest and pure design. Together with the case form you find on many vintage divers. In my humble opinion a great size with great dimensions. And this together with the stunning blue of the dial. I mean we have seen those ingredients before, but here it comes with some bold statements. Look at the huge numerals and hands which balance the modesty of the overall design. And I like the case finish, which combines brushed surfaces in contrast to the shiny dial with a stunning case back, as you can see here. And that the watch conforms with international norms for dive watches, this is a nice feature, but honestly, none of those watches with price tags above the 8K mark will see the ocean. And of course Glashütte knows this and so they've introduced a version with diamonds, available for around 15,000 euros or roughly 17,000 US dollars. 47 brilliant cut diamonds and one sapphire so that you don't forget where the top of the watch is. And this version unfortunately does not conform to DIN and ISO standards, but the manufacturer ensures us that you could actually use it under water. But I cannot recommend this. In fishy waters and near the shore diamonds can be very dangerous. Imagine the terrible creatures you may attract with that feature. By the way, did you know that in Brazil the female gold digger is called a piranha? Now you do. And if you want to learn more about the company and the brand and about German watchmaking in general, then please follow the link in the upper right corner, which leads to a portrait I've done in March this year about Glashütte. And by the way, the pronunciation of Glashütte is easier than you'd think. Many people say Glashut, but the E at the end of the word is spelled and there's an umlaut and so it's Glashütte and that's the entire trick. Okay, and that's all for now. See you next Monday to Watch of the Week on Caseback.